Hello and welcome to the fifth video in a series of game development tutorials on how to make your own piano game app in Unity. In this tutorial we'll cover pressing a button and it will auto play a song. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment or drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel and you'll find all the scripts and assets for this series there too, along with plenty of other things. You can also now join as a free member. Now on with the tutorial. So we have all functions of this piano pretty much set up, but I'm going to add some extra features before we kind of wrap this up. Just some cool little features that you can learn a little bit of programming from. So what I want to do is I want to have like a little button here that when you press it, it will automatically play a tune. Now, you might have to know how to play a piano a little bit to kind of work this out, but not necessarily. You could just do what I do here and put the notes in whatever order I put them in, or you could try and make your own just randomly. So how do we do that? Well, we need to go back to our main script. And all the way up here, if you remember, we had all of our variables preset here. Now that's handy because we can use this same script once again and the same variables to actually do this. And what we need to do is we need to have a coroutine. A coroutine will allow us to basically wait for a certain period of time before the next note is played, just so it all flows kind of nicely. Now to do that, I'm going to put this coroutine further down here. So after where we have this public void high press A sharp, let's put something else. Let's go down a couple of lines. And we're going to put, instead of void, we're going to put I enumerator. And what that is, is a way of declaring a coroutine. We'll call this auto song, open close bracket, open curly bracket, and hit return. Now you'll instantly see that it's underlined auto song in red. That basically means we don't have any way of waiting at the moment. So to do this, let's start by going yield, return new, wait for seconds, and in brackets, 0.3f, and semicolon. So what we're doing here is we're waiting for a third, just under a third of a second after we've pressed our button, and then we'll play our first note. So we'll say basically what we've done the whole time before. We can use the exact same code once again. So if we copy that and place it down here, we've got exactly what we want to happen. So after just under a third of a second, so 0 0.3 seconds, we play this. So let's go one step further and say after another third of a second, let's play another note. Well, how about we copy this code here? and we change that to G, so low G. And let's do it again. So let's wait for another third of a second. And rather than have a low note, let's have high C, like so. And then once again, let's do one more before we complete the song later in this tutorial. And let's have this as high G. Now, hopefully, those who are of musical ears may start to recognize what this song actually is. Um, but how do we get this song to play? Well, firstly, we need to have a method which relates to the button. So above this coroutine, we need to say public void start song, open close bracket, open curly bracket. And the way we do it is we need to start a coroutine. So we can say start coroutine and in brackets the name of our coroutine, which is auto song. And then open close bracket, close bracket once again, and semicolon, and save that script. So we now need to create a button and then apply this method to that button, which will then, when we press it, run this coroutine. So let's head back into Unity once it's compiled. And the idea of what I want to do here is I'm going to show you this working and then I'm going to basically speed up the video like we did previously and just create a song which can be auto played. And you can obviously use that script in uh, your game if you want to go download it. It's in the pinned comment and description. So let's go to game object. Let's go to UI. Let's create a new button. And I'm going to leave it called button. It's fine as it is. 
And let's move it over here to the top. Does it look okay in game view? It does. Maybe we should make it a little bit bigger, to be honest. Tiny bit small. There we go. So now what we do is we go down to click on the plus, like we have with air, all the keys. Uh, add our scene control in there. No function. Go to key control and down to start song. And I'm going to save my scene. Next thing to do, if we go to press play and start it, we should hopefully see or hear this in action. And obviously, if you use different uh, notes, that's fine. Remember, all these still work. Well, let's see what happens now. There we go. That wasn't me playing that. That was that button. There we go. So you can obviously do loads of different things with this script, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put a bunch more notes in here and uh, we'll reconvene in a couple of seconds when I sped the video up. There we go. So a bunch of notes, all one after the other, which basically will auto play a song. Now, the song that you're about to hear may not sound as you would expect uh, for various reasons, mainly copyright, but you should get the gist of how this song should sound. And as I've mentioned, you can get this script in the pinned comment if you want to do it yourself or, you know, it's up to you. Write your own. So I'm going to save that script. And I'm now going to head back into Unity when it's compiled. And then, fingers crossed, we should be able to press our button and have our song play. And let's see how this sounds. I'm not hopeful. I'm honestly not hopeful because I've never actually tried this arrangement before. I've only got it written down in my notes for this tutorial. But here we go. Okay, so hopefully those of you who know the song may know that song and may know that it's intentionally not meant to sound just like it for copyright reasons. So, like I said, script is there if you want to go and get it. Uh, if you want to make your own song, it's cool. You can make different songs if you want to, have different buttons doing different things, but that's fundamentally how you could get a button to auto play a song. So, in the last tutorial, of this series. We're going to add in a background, we'll add in some imagery, and we'll explore the settings in the game and we'll build it to test it. So remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload, and I will see you next time.